Hey, Uncle from TacticalGamer.com here. Had a request here from subscriber uh, about using the BIS function add respawn inventory. And uh, this is something I've been meaning to get to um, in order to control my loadouts for the uh, team versus team missions I want to work on. Um, so this was a perfect excuse for me to actually get the ball rolling on that. So uh, I did that. Um, if we go to the function here, you can see basically how it works is you can choose a target, uh, either uh, everybody that's in the mission or everybody that's in the side. Uh, so in this case, in this example, they use West, so anybody that's playing on Blue 4. Uh, you can choose a group or a particular object. So you choose the target, you choose um, the next thing is something from the config respawn inventory class is something that you create in the description.ext. So in order to see that, I went to the Arma respawn uh, page here, and you can see in here, it allows you to pick a loadout defined in config respawn inventory in the description.ext. Okay, now there's two ways of doing it. You can either just choose the weapons that that loadout should have and the magazines that should be loaded into it and all that. But what I didn't see is I can see backpack. You can add a backpack, but how do you put items in the backpack? How do you put items in a vest? I didn't even see anything in here in vest. So I just don't have a lot of information on this and I have no idea how to tell what icons are available. Um, so what I did is I used the alternative. Uh, which is basically to choose a, a basic uh, unit that's already pre-configured in the game and just load it in uh, basically so here's an automatic rifleman that you could make it to be. So let me show you how I sort of messed with this this morning and came up with it. So in the description.ext all I did and I'll go over what's in the editor um, is basically created five different classes. A basic rifleman, which is based off of um, uh, just a basic regular rifleman, not the light rifleman. I tried changing the display name, but I don't think that this works when you're using the vehicle option. It's not like I can set the icon and all that for that. Don't know. Uh, anyway, this didn't seem to work the way I wanted. Um, then a squad lead just chose a squad lead unit, medic just chose a medic unit, a rifleman AT unit, um, uh, AT unit down here, and an automatic rifleman. Okay, now let me go over then what I did uh, using that function. Okay, I then added these lines into the init server.sqf, which is a file that the server will run. If you create this file and throw it in your mission, the server will execute this on uh, as soon as it uh, starts up the simulation. So basically for all the West units, I added the role rifle basic. All of these are available for the players as soon as the mission starts. So that just has to be run and it's global. So this means that you can run it on the server and it's going to be available for all connected clients. All right, this is a this function has global um, or in another way of looking at it, maybe public uh, uh, ramifications. So now I'll be right back. So getting into the editor, I basically just gr grabbed a couple of units down here. Um, made them playable. I've got a player and some all playable units. Uh, they're all uh, light soldiers. Okay, some of them are maybe regular soldiers. That's it. So some are light, some are regular. Um, doesn't matter because I didn't want any actual roles selected for these units. Um, in the attributes for the mission, um, I have just done uh, the debug console for the host or logged in admin and disabled saving um, and in multiplayer. How I set this up is I chose respawn on custom position and then chose select respawn loadout and select respawn position. Um, 
the question has nothing to do with respawn position, but I've thrown that in there. Put a respawn delay of 10 seconds and a vehicle respawn delay of 20 seconds. Um, I allow manual respawn. And then as far as the revive goes, uh, I enabled it for all players. The required trait is that you have the trait of being a medic and that you must have a medikit in order to actually revive. Revive duration, I let all this to be default, but the bleed out I set for five minutes. Incapacitation for basic. Basically what this means is, is we should be able to then choose the medic selection from the um, respawn menu. All right, and I'm going to add the trait to the unit because they come in as a light rifleman or a regular rifleman for blue four. They are not a medic. They will not have the trait to be a medic, but I'm also going to use some other scripting in order to make that work. Okay, so that's all there is. Um, in the mission two, I had just plopped down two respawn locations. Uh, didn't put a variable name, just named one blue four base. Uh, it's available to blue four and it's shown to the side and respawn mic was shown to everyone. That's the only different air station mic. Okay, so let me get into also what's going to happen um, otherwise with scripts. So in order to handle what happens when a player respawns, I created an on player respawn script. This is another script that you can run as long as you create a script with this name on player respawn dot sqf it will run it locally on a player when that player respawns so what i did is i'm just storing what weapons the player has when they respawn because if they chose the automatic rifleman they're going to have the automatic rifle on their person when they respawn and i've set a default value for player role to be equal to basic rifle Okay, it's a basic kit I'm going to give to each one of these. Basically, I've set up uh, a squad leader, a medic, basic rifleman, a light AT unit, and an automatic rifle. Okay, so I'm going to set the default to be basic rifle, and I'm also going to find out what items they have, this player has in their backpack, as a way of checking to see if the player came back as a medic. Then I'm just going to check if binocular is in the items, the weapons that the player has, then I know that that player is a squad leader. And then I say player role is equal to squad leader. Okay, uh, so I just set that value to be whatever their actual role is. And again, if they have the um, PCML launcher, okay, is in their weapons, then they are the light AT guy. And I set them to be player role equals the light AT. Okay, if they have the 100 round uh, MX rifle okay then they are the automatic rifleman i set that if the medic kit is in the backpack items then they are the medic role i had a debug um, line in here that i would remove if i was publishing this for uh, actual player usage uh, but it's just basically telling me what the player role was set to be so that i know what if this failed i knew where it failed at Anyway, switch do. So a switch do uh, control structure basically says that depending on the vari or the value of variable player role, do the code that's in between these curly brackets. So if in the case that player role is equal to squad leader, then do the code that's in between these squirrely brackets, curly brackets, whatever you want to call it. All right. So if this is squad leader. I am just going to use this as a variable to re uh, execute this. I really didn't need it. I just threw it there just in case. Um, I could just say this and I'm passing what is the unit that is the player that just respawned to this script. Okay, and I'll go over the loadout in a minute. All right, so the loadout for that script is uh, it's just then going to give that unit the squad leader options. Okay, uh, It's also going to say that in case he was already set to be a medic, the player set unit trait, uh, the type of medic, is false. Uh, it's not a custom role, so I set that to false either. So I'm not going to get into the set unit trait stuff, but that's basically how it works. Um, if I wanted to set this guy up to be a medic, I would just make that true 
and this is still false because it's not a custom rule. Don't need to worry about it. Okay, medic set unit trait medic is true, and there we go. So if you come in and you have a medic kit in your backpack, I know that you're the medic when you respawn because there's no other way you could get it. Um, then you're also going to get a custom loadout that I created for the medic. Basic rifle again, same thing. Going to get a basic loadout, and your medic trait is going to be set to false. So for each of these, all I did is that. For the lad ET guy, I didn't give him a custom loadout. Okay, so I commented out this line. It's not running any script. I could just delete it. All right, but I made sure I set the medic trait to be false. So if he was a medic on his last respawn, respawned again. He's not going to be medic now if he came in as light AT. And AR, no custom loadout. Just set the medic trait to be false. So let's get to these custom loadouts. Okay, so if I get back into here, basically all I did is I grabbed uh, uh, a unit. I could grab anything, so any rifleman. Throw them down. Go to here and edit loadout. <clears throat> In here, I could customize the loadout to be whatever I wanted. All right? I can give him a Bergen backpack. I could give him common clothes, right? Um, and let's give him something ridiculous for a rifle. Um, instantly recognizably silly. There we go. So give him that. Okay? Now, what you can do once you create a loadout for a unit, export it and it copies it to the clipboard. If I go back over to here, I can paste it. Okay, so if you use Notepad++, this is great. Um, it's got some comments in there that I don't need. All right, um, it's got some stuff here for setting the face and the speaker voice for the unit, which I don't want as part of this. So I delete that out of here. I'm just going to use the search, uh, find and replace option. And so for everywhere where it says this in my script, I want it to actually be replaced with a variable I'm going to call unit. So replace all, right? Okay, now, in order to make this script work with my on player respawn, I need, because I'm passing the player that I want to execute this on, I could have just actually changed all these to player and it would work just the same, but I didn't. So I could just go in here now unit, because I passed that, equals this select zero. So the first element in that array that it passed to the script was the player unit. And the player unit is now going to be equal to unit, and it's going to then remove all the weapon items and everything from the unit, and then add in what I just did in the arsenal. It's really that simple. And then I saved it. Okay, in my mission, I just created three different loadouts, and they really are that simple. Um, you can see I did the exact same thing, uh, except for I put a little sleep on there and a hint. Whoops. Right. So just so I was debugging it, I would get a message that it actually gave me the loadout, and it would wait so that I could I could see it happen. I would respawn, and a couple seconds later, I could see that my kit changed. Okay. These are things I would remove from the scripts when when I was going to publish it for players to use, but I added this in there so I can see that it's functioning the way I want it to. Okay, so it's really that simple. I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to delete this unit because I don't need it. I just used it to create my custom loadouts. And let's take a look at how it looks. I need ammo. Okay, so it's going to force me to wait 10 seconds, and it's giving me some roles to choose from to respawn. What's your position? Right, my medic, my machine gunner. I don't know why it says, uh, oh, machine gunner is a class, and I can choose auto rifleman. Okay, so my custom names are not showing up, but that's okay. If I had defined custom roles, I guess the custom names would be here. But since I used a predefined unit to spawn off of, I get this. Under rifleman, I get squad leader. Okay, I can choose to look at the details on 
what I'm going to get under that roll. Okay, which is not going to be accurate because I know I'm going to change it as soon as I get into the mission. However, grid zero four three ready. There we go, and squad leader kit was given. Now I get my custom items. Okay, in my debug menu, um, you can see that I was using backpack items player to determine that yes, I did not have a medic kit in here, so I should not have been made a medic. Uh, and if I go this player get unit trait medic, I know that I'm not a medic. All right, I'm not going to bother showing how this works in multiplayer. All right. Okay, now if I then respawn, Man down. choose the medic kit. I can choose my new respawn location over here, the blue four base. Grid zero five three. Awaiting orders. You see that my teammates are were rushing over to Air Station Mike and I get my new kit. I got my medic kit, a bunch of first aid kits, a bunch of smokes crazy amount of smokes and I should have a pistol and lots of ammo for it as well so excellent my custom kits are working and I can see that I am the medic so if another unit then was because of the settings I had under revive if another unit was down okay another playable unit right and then I can now respawn or revive them I mean All right now I could create a script that on particular events add roles to the available selections or take them away right so if I wanted to remove it if I wanted to remove AR as an option here I could use this remove respawn inventory to remove the AR class right but these classes need to be defined remember in the description.ext as long as the names I'm using here all right are named properly these are the names that I'm going to use in that code then to remove the AR so if I execute this now I'm out. it could be local it could be server it only has to happen on one connected client and this will have global ramifications so obviously the best place to do it is on the server alright so server execute it uh, I'm going to respawn and now I should not have the we got a man for down. That machine gunner class. There should be no automatic rifle under machine gunner, and the machine gunner class is gone. That's uh, simple. Okay, so that's all there is to it. All right, so that's Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. Grid uh, zero five three. Waiting. I hope that helps out. Um, I want to work on a multiplayer version of this for uh, like a sector control type mission, but I am not going to use the loadout menus off of the um, respawn menu because I want players to be able to come in and get organized and then choose roles so it's going to be a custom menu right off of an ammo box crate much like you see in squad okay or attack battlefield or frontline all these great uh, team versus team things so there you are catch you soon